How do you know Ken? Uh, I've known Ken for, God, so many years now, much longer than I, I want to know, I want to <laughs> admit. Uh, I know him from East West Players. Uh, she started there uh, 25 years ago, maybe, 30 years ago. So I've known him for a long time. He still looks the same, exactly the same. I can't, I, you know, what's, what's the deal? <laughs> what's your favorite memory with Ken? Uh, what, what is, I don't know. I, uh, oh, wow, I got to think about that now. That you want to share. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've been, uh, a bunch of us have been walking around the reservoir for the last, I think, a couple years now. So every morning, most, almost every morning, we, we walk around and it's nice to socialize and, and walk. And so that's, that's probably about it. And to earn the birthday cake for tonight. Yeah, I, have, I eat some cake. I gotta walk like around twice tomorrow, I think. <laughs> I see you have a birthday gift here for Ken. Yes, isn't this wonderful? I mean, there's tons of food here. You know, I brought a dessert, you know, but of course there's like 10 or 15 desserts, right? So it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I've known Ken for so long. You know, early, early um, East West players. And I keep telling him, you're old. <laughs> so he came over the other night, the other day to pick up some stuff because I was moving. You know, and it felt so good to talk to somebody close to my age. <laughs> and, he, you know, he, he's the most wonderful, wonderful person in the world. He really is. You know, no matter how bitchy he gets. <laughs> Do you have a favorite memory with Ken? Yes, we did this thing called Canton Jazz Club at the old East West Players. And that was the only time that I saw him really get mad at one of the actors. The actors was being very what is that, prima donna-ish. And he was saying, you, you know, and screaming, and I'm going like, whoa, Mr. T. <laughs> you know, because he's really quiet and he's very, you know, giving and agreeable. But I guess this guy really ticked him off, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, Mr. T's big 80th. Love you, Mr. T. Mwah. Sorry, Ken. I didn't mean to knock you over. My first show with you, Ken, was Company in 1988 or 9, I think 1989. And Ken did props. And um, I was doing a number where I was a very nervous bride to be. It was the morning of my wedding. And I was supposed to be buttering toast. Ken came up with the brilliant idea of giving me, like, a kitchen knife this long and this thick and a slab of butter like a brick. So in the scene, I'm chopping butter and breaking up toast. It was hilarious. And he was very, very sweet. And we did many shows after that. And Ray, my late husband Ray, adored you and had so much fun working with you. And what an honor to be at Ken's 50th birthday. He looks so good. I hope I look that good when I'm 50. <laughs> What's your favorite memory? Oh, aside from the toast, buttering the toast, um, I think one of my favorite memories is also at some of our parties when we would do a Hawaiian play. The Hawaiian audience that came to see us was always fantastic. They were very supportive, huge audience. There'd always be a buffet. There'd always be a lot of food afterwards. So two memories of Ken, um, eating the buffet, <laughs> eating all the good food, and sometimes we could kind of convince him to do a, like a somewhat of a hula, and I love that. <laughs> Oh, Ken, you have to come down and sit down here because Elvin's going to sing to you again. Please. Or, or somebody is. It's a secret. Someone escort that young man here. So, anyway, everybody, we're going to have a good time. A lot of stuff going on. So, I just want you to scream and yell and applaud loud, I hope, to make him happier. So, just a little background. Um, we've been working on this little event for forever. <laughs> Half hour, I think. But uh, Ken, uh, I gave him a ride to yoga a couple times, and he was like, Hey, how come there's no entertainment at my party? 
And I said, I said, hey man, just don't worry, man. We got we got it covered. So Ken, here's uh, the beginning of what I promised you. So I'm going to bring out Alvin E to serenade you again with something very special for you. You ready, Ken? Okay, here we go. I'm not a poet. How will I know it? I've never been a raver. But when I speak of you, I rave a bit. It's true. I'm wild about you. I'm lost without you. You give my life its flavor. What sugar does for tea, that's what you do for me. Okay, the winner of the first 
Ken's favorite things is... Hurry up! Norman Tamanaha! Come on down! Norman! Thank you. Okay! And he, uh, Ken also likes bread and butter without the bread. So we have a tub full of margarine for... May Kwan is a hockey yoga day! <laughs> Don't eat it all in one place. You and Larry, be careful with that thing tonight when you get home. Vegetarian based. Ooh! Custard pie! As we know at the yoga class, Ken likes custard pie, but we never have it for him. So, this is Ken's favorite pie, if anybody ever gets pie for Ken. And the winner is... <laughs> we better mix this thing up. No, no, no. No, I got it. Jen Mahila! Another one from the Bay's table! I have nothing to do with this. This is a cardinal of picking... Hockey yoga. You know, I teach on Saturdays right across the street if you guys ever want to. Helps with Las Vegas, everything. Oh, oh, that's it. We're not now. Oh, sorry. Hold on, man. Well, I'm gonna get some more coke first, and then. Okay, I got nothing. It's a problem. Okay, Yoshi, are you ready? Okay, we have a, a special guest tonight for you, Ken. Um, to dance for you, and I hope I hear that you're going to maybe dance with her. So to dance uh, a hula, some hula songs, a couple songs for you. Kimi Plane, or Kimiko Plane, yeah? Welcome, our please, everybody. Oh, she said this one can't come up. Oh, what do you got? Come on!